So, I'm going to be installing glass tile in this backsplash. I have to do some prep work, scrape some of this off here because it's, it's kind of rough. Do a little patching over here, over here, over there. Fill a few holes here. One, two, and three. And then we're going to install. This is a tile we're going to be installing. Right here. Glass tile. So that's what I'm doing today. It's a scraper. Scrape off some of this stuff here. And that's pretty good. So it doesn't look great, but it's actually not bad. I got all the high ridges off. And uh, then I'm going to skim coat this whole thing with thin set to smooth it off and get me a nice, really nice base for glass tile. Now onto this, this, and this. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, I scraped it all down. And it's uh, pretty smooth. All the ridges are off. Now I'm going to patch these holes over here and over there and then I'm going to give it a skim coat and then walk away from it. I patched these holes here and I'm going to skim coat everything. And this is just regular polymer modified thin set. So everything is skim coat so this is all smooth. Okay, so it's all patched, it's pretty smooth, I, I just hit it a little again with the um, stain wolf spots, I hit, hit it again, but uh, that's pretty much it. All those holes are patched, and this hole is patched over here, so I'm going to let that sit overnight and then I'm going to tile it tomorrow. Okay, so Everything is nice and smooth, ready for tile. Holes are all patched. One's over here, another one over here. Okay, so I pre cut these here. So that'll fit there, and this will fit here. And then to cut glass tile, you can get one of these here. This will cut glass tile pretty, pretty good. It's not a clean cut, but it's for the rough cuts around the plugs. So now I'm going to spread some thin stuff. And what I'm using here is Superflex by Tech. You need a high polymer content thin set for glass tile. And this is the trowel I'm using. It's just a V-notch trowel. the hard to get areas you can get one of these
I'm going to use a hammer and a beater block. It's just a piece of 2x4 to beat the tiles in. Make sure I've got good coverage. Let's start it. Let's just tap. You don't have to hit it hard. Just tap. And if there's a bad piece of tile like this one here, obviously you're going to cut it out. I'm going to put a good one in. These are just one sixteenth inch horseshoe spaces. So, and I cut that in, and I cut those in, and I, I got to cut these in. Okay, so that's done. I just used a wet saw to cut these tiles. Uh, that's what you're gonna need to to um, cut glass tile. So make a nice clean cut. You can use this to make a rough cut, but to make a clean cut, you're gonna need a wet saw. So I'm gonna continue on over here now. Just put a, put a little bit of thin set on the back of those because this might not be tacky anymore. And what the beta block does it makes sure everything is set in flat and that the where the joints meet that don't they don't stick up. So. That's sad, I'm gonna cut those in, cut those in, and cut these in, and the wall will be done. Okay, that is done. Now I'm gonna move on to down here, and over here, and then I'm gonna do over here. Okay. So this wall is done. Next is this one. Okay, so to support the tile across here, I just screwed in a piece of ledger board. This is pretty much always 30 inches um, across there uh, for a standard stove. So I just put a piece of ledger board on there. That way when you put your tile on, you can just put it on there and it can go straight across. When I cut, when I cut that, I save the pieces that came off here. So that when I do the corner, I can get the matching piece. I can put the matching piece in. Like that. Because if you put a different color piece in there, it just doesn't look right. 
no, it doesn't look right because that's supposed to be a folded corner. So you put the matching piece in that corner. So I saved those pieces that I cut off there. And they're right here. These are the pieces that came off there. And I'm going to put them in there when I put this other piece of tile in. Okay, so that's the corner. So all these corners match. The ones that were cut, they're all matching. I'm going to cut the top in, I'm going to cut this plug in, and then I'm going to continue along there. Okay, so I pre cut. Pre-cut everything. Well, not everything, but for going around here. So this is cut for here, and this is cut for here, and that one over there. So I'm gonna mix them in some more thin set and 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 put these in. Okay, so yesterday I polished some tile. This is how it looks when it's cut on the wet saw. Actually, that's a polished one. No, that's a one cut on the wet saw. And these are the ones that I polished. So that's what it looks like when you cut it on the wet saw. And so I polished it so it'll be on the end here. It'll look good. And I'm just going to put some in. And you can do this instead of trying to put a metal on here to um, to finish the edge. You can just polish these edges here, and it's all done. Okay, so it's done. And I'm gonna let it sit and then I'll come back and grout it.
So that's it. All done. Cork, and now this is a color matching cork. When this cork dries, it'll be the same color as the grout. Over there, over there, the corner. That's it. Done.